Welcome. I'm Dr. Brian Williams, president of McCall College, and we're continuing our community conversation on a new topic tonight on art and art history. And we hope to do this conversation through the month of July. Thursday night, 7 p.m. We're glad you're watching. To help us with that conversation, we have my wife, Nettie Kay. Welcome, Nettie Kay. We're glad you're here. Thank you. And uh, what, what would you like to introduce to us tonight that helps us to understand the field of art? Well, um, I'm going to be sharing with you the importance of art as, you know, we just, <coughs> pardon me, we just finished up uh, a, a section on mental health in the pandemic, and I thought it would be kind of an interesting thing to kind of uh, tag that together and talk to you a little bit about how important art is to our own mental health as well as how to, uh, to learn how to express ourselves in drawing and painting. And so I'll begin with uh, doing a little demonstration, not today, but next week on, uh, on still life. And we'll talk a little bit about the history of still life and, and why it's so important. I know most of you guys are thinking, well, I don't want a painting of a cantaloupe and a bottle of wine and some grapes. But really what still life is, it's all about, uh, all about our, the, the articles that define our life. And so when you look around, what is the, you know, what are the things in our lives that really are part of our lives at this point? Uh, it might be your computer now or your cell phone. You could do a still life of that if you want. But uh, there are certain things, you know, for, for instance, a uh, musical instrument perhaps, or, uh, you know, any different kinds of foods that you enjoy, uh, flowers, uh, and uh, all kinds of different things that will kind of uh, put our life in a bit of a nutshell and we learn how to paint it. But the most important thing is learning the basic principles of uh, the structure of painting. It doesn't sound exciting, but it really is. Uh, the basic shapes and how we put them together. So that's what I'd like to do. That sounds interesting. I'd, I'd like for you to begin tonight just by sort of defining the painting behind you. Would you take a moment and help us to understand you through that painting? Well, this one is called By Still Waters, and it's got a, um, a piece of drapery, which was, it looks kind of heavy. It was a piece of, actually, Indian silk that I put on to a very fragile branch as it's hanging over the water. And you can see how, um, if you really look at it, uh, it looks as though this, if you really use your imagination, it looks as though this may be the shape of someone kneeling. And so uh, next to the water, maybe hanging their little head over this, and how fragile the stick is holding up this uh, this piece of fabric that actually looks fairly heavy. I set that up in my studio. I had been going through a very difficult time in my life and was feeling quite fragile. And so uh, this was an important piece for me to kind of meditate on. And um, you can see how beautiful this, this water is and how still it is and, and how even this little fragile stick is holding up the weight of this fabric here and uh, all the different texture and stuff that's going on. And so that is one of the ways that that uh, whenever you're going through a difficult time, you might think about um, painting or drawing something that will kind of represent that uh, and so that you can kind of get that out a little bit. I find that's really, really important when it's um, when you're going through a difficult time. So. Uh, I have done a few. I don't do too many of them. There's a few of them that are will hopefully go over uh, the next couple of weeks. And I'd also, um, I hope this is okay, I would like to invite uh, any of you that you would like to join us live uh, in the classroom on Thursday night. You're welcome to uh, come up and uh, to room 212 at McCall College at Park Place, uh, 106 East Park. 
and come and visit uh, the classroom, take a look at some of the, the uh, paintings up here in our classroom si situation, and also uh, watch the demonstration live. But uh, if you can't make it, at least do watch on our, our special program live each Thursday night. Thank you. Uh, let's conclude with an opportunity for people to find you on the internet. There's a few places you can be found. Uh, what are, are those places and what's the best way to contact you? So let's start with where they can find you on the internet. Yes. Well, I have a lot of fun. I've been doing this since well, 2000 and I'm not exactly sure. It's been a long time. I've been on Etsy for, since 2008, and I have a little shop there at nettykstudio.etsy.com. And then I also uh, have a, a special show called Nettie K Studio on, uh, on YouTube. So let's see, it's YouTube, uh, let's see, backslash Nettie K, N-E-T-T-I-E, -E, letter K, Studio. And uh, that's where I do a lot of art instruction on there. We are at about hmm, 600,000 views, I think, at this point, and, uh, and growing every day, and lots and lots and lots of uh, subscribers. And so I do a lot of art instruction on my YouTube channel, and I have so much fun talking to people all over the world on a regular basis. It's really, really um, uh, just a, a blast. And so I hope you'll join me there as well. Yeah. And so how, how do people contact you? Is there, is there something that you allow the public to use to contact you? On the YouTube site, uh, there are, there's a way to message me on there. And that's one of the ways that you can message me on, on YouTube is through the, mu the YouTube message sy system. And you can just uh, you can actually just make a comment below, and uh, you can um, and I'll respond to that generally. And then also on my Etsy site, there's a message system as well. So you just go onto the Etsy site, and you can actually uh, contact me through that uh, that venue as well. And uh, you know you can ask all kinds of questions as well. So I think that's probably the best. Uh, is there any other way that you can think of, Dr. Williams? I think that. That works. That, that, that should work for you, yeah. and I, I trust it will be helpful to people. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope we'll have some good time together in the next little while. And uh, oh, on top of that, I do teach kids too. And so I've been teaching children up here in uh, the Park Place building for man, all oh, six years I think it has been. Been teaching children for actually twelve years now. Uh, and then I also teach, uh, uh, do the paint and sips. Oh boy, are those ever fun. And I think we're gonna be doing one out in, at Tamarack here in the next little while. So uh, I'll keep you posted as soon as I get the dates on that. And uh, hopefully some of you will be able to join me live and actually get a canvas out and really kind of enjoy uh, throwing some paint around. That'll be awesome, yeah. Thank you, Nikki K. And so there is the start to our summer series. And so each Thursday night, 7 p.m., we'll be hosting Nettie Kay. And we'll be learning something from her. And I'll try and join the conversation and say in, in, in some productive way uh, to try and understand the art that she's teaching or, or uh, helping us to understand better. And so thank you for joining us on our Community Conversations with Nettie Kay in July, and we trust we'll see you again next week.